Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, Root Sports proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Indiana Pacers. Great game the other night against the Jazz. They needed all of his 33 points to win that game. Now, Paul George back from injury, but take a look at this. This is a guy who's still highly skilled. He's very tall. He can get that shot off against anyone, and he's very accurate. Here he is, putting it on the floor, and very explosive. Paul George is back, and what a great, great matchup we have with tonight. the hook shot. Pat oh. says, let me try it again. Well, yeah. Thompson goes, and the Rockets have hit their first three shots of the game. You learn how to get out of the way. Harden puts it up and in. The Rockets shooting 100% from the field. That's a pretty good number. I don't really want to spend that much money. Well, they have Parker. And there's a basket. And they still Inside. got Parker. Yeah. Yeah. And they still have Parker. And that's oh, they knew broke his leg. It was a serious, serious injury. And he's come all the way back. He gets, Boy, into your, he gets into your paint, and he just creates havoc. He just went right over the top. Like the old Dennis Rodman cut. Monte Ellis with a miss. Mahimi. Gets it outside, George with a miss, Allen with the rebound, back to Paul George, and the foul bails him out. What? Like this on the post for James. Good. I do too. I think, I think you've got Dwight as a post player, you also have James as a post player, and when Demo comes back, he's also a good post player. Absolutely. you got to use that in today's That's game. And bounce pass inside. This time, Terrence Jones puts it up, does not try to slam it. There's a miss by Joe, and a steal by Paul George. You've got to be careful of that basketball. Stucky takes it up and in, and he's fouled on the play. Shot clock, game clock, and there's another steal by Paul George. And Young takes it inside for two and one. There you see the athleticism. Really got better playing for them. And Harden with that smart play. He knew Stucky was going to try it. He says he's honoring her. And there's a basket by Harden. Well, that's a pretty good one. Going two for one there for James Harden. Always great to have the beard on your team. Who can create something for Young? Turns a corner, drops it off to Dwight. Dwight sets, fires, hits. That's four steals for Paul George, and now he's starting to heat up. He hits a three. Scored by Indiana. Paul George is left wide open. White working on Mahimi. Mahimi, an excellent defensive player. And he got the miss. There's Terrence Jones taking it up, and it's good. Out of bounds. Well, Dwight looked like he just got hammered on him. To the basket. One of the few times James beat Hill very easily. No one was looking for him on the other end. Well, Paul George says thank you very much, and he dribbled right by Harden. Harden had, was looking for help, but Harden will fire and hit. Three-pointer for James Harden. 15 points now for Harden in a hurry, and now Vogel is helping defense by Capella. But you got to pick up George. And they didn't do it. He he just it's just like the Rockets forgot about him. When he passed the ball, they just left him. How do you forget about a leading scorer? George draws the basket and the foul. Paul George doing what he wants to in this quarter. That's 13 points in this quarter. That has produced 32 points for Indiana. There's a good run by Harden. A lot of bumping and no calls. And he used to he used to get those calls. Ariza. with Harden to the basket for two more. Now he's starting to impose his will on the game. And he's got 19 points. Got Stucky on him now. Stucky got stuck. Ariza unstuck him. And the Rockets are back within one. A 12 one twice. Back to him. Oh, Mahimi really bailed him out. Paul George was lucky. Pat Beverly all the way to the bucket. It's blocked out of bounds by George. A great block by Paul George. But I like Pat being aggressive in that situation. Instead of waiting and trying to get the ball to Harden, he sees a seam and he goes right for it. Foul on the arm. Yes, it was. I don't know why he didn't go back to the inside. And he's been playing against a really good defense that was set up to stop him tonight. 
George Hill has been guarding him, but he's been getting a lot of help. Look at all the blue jerseys around James as he's driving it in there. So James is 8 for 19 tonight, 2 for 8 from the three-point line for 21 points, 8 rebounds and 5 assists. And he's been very aggressive here down the stretch. Look at the score. All right, both teams are in the penalty. So you can't afford any fouls right now. The Rockets still have a 20. Indiana has a full and a 20. Back outside to Ariza. Got it! Trevor Ariza with a cold-blooded three! Oh, another layup. Well, this is a little layup drill here in overtime. Back to Pat. Pat lifts it up and in. Pat Beverly with a three. Gonna be up to Harden. Great crossover to the basket over the back. And Howard ties the game at 99. What a pass from James Harden. Beautifully done. Well, he's had a tough tour here tonight. Trying to stay with Harden. Harden back out to Ariza. Fires a three. Six left to play in the game. High three corners for Trevor. Puts it up and missed it, and Dwight with a rebound. Dwight gives it up to Harden. He dribbles down the court, gives it up to Ariza. And the Rockets are going to win the game. No fouls. It's over. What a comeback by Houston. The Rockets outscore the Pacers 29 to 16 in the fourth and 14 to 10 in overtime. The biggest win of the season for Houston.